Hi guys, uh, welcome to this lesson. Uh, I know you are like uh, probably frustrated with the game analytics, but I recently found a solution for this because uh, I was getting like crazy with it. I already like gave up, but the solution is very simple. So, but still for the newcomers, I will show you like how you can uh, integrate the game analytics into Unity. It's very, very easy by the way, but there are some, you know, things that you need to take care. Uh, so this is where you download your SDK. I mean, I think you can like download from the Unity Asset Store, but I found it works better. I think like this is the way it works with, for me. So you go to your dashboard, you select your game, all right, and then you go to the I think documentation. Let's see if this is the one. Integration guides, not this one. I think. Let me see guides maybe come on yeah here we go you select unity here and you basically get this package here into your hard disk or into your computer and then you install this so here we are let me show you I already got it here so I'm not gonna download this one and G A S T K unity I think I downloaded a couple of times anyway I'm not gonna talk a lot don't worry so this is going to import this package okay and let me just a second let's see how much space we have in here so oh my god 200 to something okay anyway uh so let's let's see if this is installing it in here yeah, now we are getting the package in here and so yeah here we go game object so now we have the package installed game analytics now you have your game analytics folder here first of all you need to create a game analytics object for your game okay so now this is created now you have the settings here okay so this is like under here also it creates now I'm going to log into my account, okay, .com. I'm going to enter my password here. I'm going to say login. So logged in, getting the getting data. Okay, now I'm going to, let's say I'm going to do it for iOS, okay. And make sure your build settings is set to an iOS. And your, let's, let's first add a platform, iPhone player, okay let's say add platform and here now you select your company and now you can select your game okay let's select coloring ball so now it gets the your IDs and everything on auto so let's make the 0, 0.0 and make sure okay this is all set up guys all right so I'm going to save this also make sure your where is this let's come back let's come back again Come on, and yeah, come on. I just I'm trying to find my bundle ID in here. This should be in the settings, by the way. Sorry, guys. Let's go to settings. Here we go. And game title, coloring ball. Yeah, this is the one. This is what I want. I'm going to copy this. And I will come back to Unity. I will select build settings and let's go to player settings. So resolution is uh, auto. I'm going to make it portrait. It doesn't matter. We're just going to make a build in Xcode. We're not going to test on our mobile. And other settings you need to copy. Okay, this is my old bundle from another game. So this has to be the same. And let's make this one. I make this uh, same like 1.0.0 with my game analytics settings. This one. All right, so I save it. Now uh, everything is set up and I'm going to, do we have an export folder here? Here we go. Now I'm going to export it. I'm going to say build settings. I'm going to GA taste, make sure this is the same scene with your, this one. And you say build, okay. And game test, let's save. And let's wait for the Unity to make a build. So it's going to take some time, okay? So we need to wait a while, it's going to create. 
So, I mean, this should be okay. By the way, while this is building, I just want to make a small self promo here. Uh, I teach at Udemy, by the way, and I teach uh, like making games using Unity without coding. I use a plugin called Playmaker, which is cool. I mean, it is you you. It's a paid plugin. It's like six to six to five bucks or something. I'm not making promotion, by the way. Don't misunderstand. I don't have anything to do. Okay, build successful. I don't have anything to do with. Uh, how can I say? Let's close this. Uh, how can I say uh, the Damn, my English today is such, sorry guys. Uh, with the Playmaker, all right, with the Hutong games, I'm just showing, promoting my own course here. So in this course, I show how to make an AR app with Unity. In this one, I'm going to show you like no coding action adventure game making. So this is like the basics almost. And this is like the, you know, a good one. I show you like how to make a 3D, uh, like a zombie shooter game, which is cool. You know, check all these out. I and mean, if you are interested in anything, and these are my advanced, these are build box courses. I, I, this one I show like how to make a switch times two action, like they have in the Flappy Duck game uh, by Voodoo. And this one I show you how to make an, a haze up mediation used inside build box. All right. Uh, so that's about it. So uh, let's open up the project after we exported it. Let's open this up. And uh, let's open this up. I'm on, yeah, this is the name. Let's take it out. So my name and we won't change anything in here. Okay, don't go in here like they say in Huto, I mean the in game analytics site, they tell you to add these libraries and things. Don't do that. Okay, everything is already set up. So otherwise it will like clash with the thing. Okay, this is where you should be, by the way. Uh, so like in Unity, this is all done. Okay, so you need to select your team name. One more thing you need to do is you need to go to your build settings. Okay, and come down here, find this, uh, where is this? Enable bit code. Yeah, this one. This is the one you need. Okay, so you want to turn this to no. Okay, this is if you don't do this, it will give build error. And if you can't find it, you can come up here, bit code. So now you can change also from here. Okay, this is under the like this menu here. You go to general and you go to build settings. Okay, so you and this is down here, right? Make that no. If you don't, if you leave it yes, it will give build error. That's very, very important. Okay, so I tested before I recording this so this is like say succeeded but still i want to show you like real time that this thing works okay so like i said don't come up here and add anything you know just open it in xcode just go to your build settings and just say this to no okay that's about it now we are going to generate ios device we're going to say archive and we will start archiving hopefully it will work okay okay so this shouldn't give any build errors. This is how you build a game uh, with Unity and game analytics. Okay. So this is going to take some time. Uh, so we are, it's going on. And let me talk about a little bit Playmaker while it's while we're watching this here. Uh, you know, it's like uh, I really love using Playmaker because it is not really complex and you can like make a prototypes of games very, very easily. And of course, you can make real games, not prototypes, but you know, you can start making games really easily, like giving a controller to your player, setting up enemies, setting up, you know, like, uh, how can I say, stage design and everything. You can do either in 2D or 3D. It's all up to you. There is a massive amount of, uh, how can I say, information around, but they are all like spread up, you know, it's not like, I don't know, someone shows a part of it, you know, a part of it. So I really tried to like uh, bring them all together. Speaking of myself, don't misunderstand. I mean, all knowledge is really precious, but I tried to make like a project based uh, lesson in, in this Udemy. So, for example, in this one, I show no coding action, action adventure making. You know, this one, I, you have create a character. You know, it's like you press a button that opens the door. You go through that door. So, more like an adventure game. I show, very very simple, but it's, it teaches a lot. 
In this one, I'm showing an AR app. So you make an augmented reality, a zombie, where you can deploy on your table, on your floor, wherever you want using. Also in this one, I show it's very important, I think, for if you are going to publish to mobile, for iOS especially. I will show you how you can set up your Apple uh, certificate, your distribution and ad hoc uh, certificates and everything and like going all the way to the publishing. OK, so this is like f almost like a full mobile course. OK, iOS mobile platform. And this one, this is my build box course. This, is, this doesn't have to do anything with Playmaker or Unity. I'm showing how, to, how I made a switch times action. It's more like an advanced action like in build box. This is the my latest and like one of the main courses that I like worked a lot on it and I'm showing a 3D zombie shooter game so you're in a cemetery walking around and things. Very very cool course you know please check it out. I really enjoyed creating it and this is I'm showing you you know the Haze app mediation platform. I'm showing it how you can make a Haze app for iOS and Android studio okay. So this is this is about it. Enough of me. I'm I I'm I can hear you are sick of me talking and promoting myself, but you know what can you do? <laughs> so this is building hopefully, and it didn't give any errors until now. So it's about it, and it's going to make a build right now. And uh, so let's go over while this is doing it. Let's go over game analytics, you know. And my computer starts to heat up now because it's like Xcode is working. So you can like fast forward this part. If you are bored, you can like forward and see this is working and probably you already stopped the video. You don't have to wait, but this is going to build fine. By the way, this is the website, like I showed in the beginning. GameLTX.com <laughs> just uh, talking some stuff. So these are my games, you know. So you know, like nothing's going on right now. I think it's trying to get the data. Some of them are, I think, some of them I stopped using them because, uh, yeah, horrible downloads with some of my games. <laughs> as you can see anyway. So this is about the finish. Uh, like uh, I don't want to stop this. I I'm I can see you are wondering why this is like I'm waiting. I just want to see you this real time as this is happening. So I don't want to feel like I'm cheating you guys, okay? Like I'm doing this and showing you something else in another video or something like that. So it's about to finish, just be patient, just I want you to see this is all done in properly and hopefully you can use game analytics, start using game analytics in your game. Come on, almost there, linking, uh, do it, come on, yes, generating whatever file it is. By the way, I'm going to give the links to my courses, okay, in the bottom if you can check the links. And also please subscribe to my channel, by the way. I really, really appreciate your all support so I can like bring more videos like this. So that's it, you know. This is done. It's a working uh, app with game analytics integrated. And also it will work, don't worry, it will start to show up here, okay. So this is about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And please like subscribe and like this uh, like my channel and I would appreciate if you can like share my channel and you know check some of my courses like I showed you Udemy you know check it out if you're interested you know just check them out you know that's about it guys uh, hope you like this video and see you in my another video bye